now we move on to sub question 11 of exercise 2a simplify now the sum is a into b the whole raised to y minus z into b into c the whole raised to z minus x into c into a the whole raised to x minus y now this term here is in the form with the two variables that is x into y the whole raised to m so we can write this as x raised to m into y raised to m. So in the same way the index will be for a as well as b. So we write it as a raised to y minus z into b raised to y minus z into now the dot here we have said in the last video also that dot is also multiplication. B raised to Z minus X into C raised to Z minus X into C raised to X minus Y into A raised to X minus Y. Now we can write this in the form that is A raised to Y divided by a raised to z as per the law that is x raised to m upon x raised to n which is x raised to m minus n. So we use this law and we write this into b raised to y b to the power z into b raised to z divided by b raised to x into c raised to z divided by c raised to x into c raised to x divided by c raised to y into a raised to x divided by a raised to y. Now you can check out if there are similar terms and cancel them out since it is a product. Now we have a raised to y, a raised to y, then again we have here b raised to z, here again b raised to z and I have here c raised to x and c raised to x. Now the remaining terms we can write, now we have a term here, a term here, so we can write it as a raised to x divided by a raised to z into b raised to y divided by b raised to x into c raised to z divided by c raised to y. We can write this in the form a raised to x minus z into b raised to y minus x into c raised to z minus y. So this is our final answer. We start with sub question 12 of exercise 2a. Simplify the sum is x raised to 2n plus 3 into x raised to 2n plus 1 bracket into n plus 2 where we have to find the product here x raised to 3, the whole raised to 2n plus 1 into x raised to n into 2n plus 1. Now when here we have multiplication sign, so the powers here will get added up. As per the law, x raised to m into x raised to n is x raised to m plus n. So the same form we will write here. So, x raised to 2n plus 3, since it is product, we take plus sign here and 2n plus 1 into n plus 2 divided by x raised to 3 into 2n plus 1, again product, so we have a positive sign here into n 2n plus 1. So here also we have to find the product. The next step is 
Now we will find the product of this two brackets first. So we have x raised to 2n plus 3 plus I take the first term that is 2n then I write the second bracket that is n plus 2 plus 1 the second term again the second bracket n plus 2 divided by x raised to I open the bracket I multiply 3 with both the terms 3 to the 6n plus 3 plus 2n into n is 2n square plus n. Next here x raised to 2n plus 3 plus 2n into n is 2n square plus 2 to the 4n plus n plus 2 divided by x raised to 6n plus 3 plus 2n square plus n. Now we add the similar terms over here. So it is x raised to 2n again 4n and n. So we get 4, 5, 6 and 1, 7 raised to 7n plus 3 plus 2 that is 5 plus 2n square. So 2 n square. In the denominator also x raised to 6n plus n that is 7n plus 3 plus 2n square. Now this is in the form x raised to m divided by x raised to n that is x raised to m divided by x raised to n as per the law which is x raised to m minus n. So I write it in that form. So we have here x raised to 7n plus 5 plus 2n square minus 7n minus 3 minus 2n square. Now whatever terms with different signs we can cancel, we will cancel. So 7n gets cancelled with minus 7n. 2n square gets cancelled with minus 2n square. And here x raised to 5 minus 3. So we have x raised to 5 minus 3 which is x square. So this is our final answer. I have done the 12th sub question. You have to do the 13th one for homework.